Washington panel. We have Lee Hawkins of the Wall Street Journal, former NFL star and Yahoo analyst Tiki Barber, and Farron Bellis Fox News contributors Monica Crowley and Leslie Marshall. Leslie, first to you. What do you think about your friend Juan Williams and his getting fired? Well, actually, uh, for those of you there that know, in addition to being a Fox News contributor, I, I do the O'Reilly Factor every Friday, and, and Juan and I have been in this very room uh, together, and I like him personally and have a lot of respect for him professionally. However, I feel that any remark by a broadcaster, myself included, uh, that has any hint of bigotry or prejudice is wrong against any group of people, regardless of their skin color, their religion, or their ethnicity. I was surprised that Juan said what he said the way he said it because there's a line in the sand and I do feel his toes went over it when he made those remarks. As to and, NPR's and you think actions, therefore NPR that is was their justified in firing him? Well, what is NPR hiring Juan to do and what has Juan done for them? News analysis. He is not to be giving his personal opinion and you also he have to look at He wasn't on NPR giving his personal opinion. He was on Bill O'Reilly that, giving his personal opinion. That's correct, but David, so, so you, you know, if I'm on another NPR, show Leslie, giving my... We have four people here. We've got to get to the point. Sh should NPR have fired Juan Williams for what he said on Bill O'Reilly? Based on the, the contract they had with Juan Williams, which I obviously am not privy to, I feel they were within their rights. Well, if you're not privy to, then you don't know whether they were in their rights. Monica? This is, this is completely outrageous, and anybody who treasures the First Amendment in this country should be outraged as to what, to, what just happened to Juan Williams. It's absurd. He went on the O'Reilly Factor. He made a statement of fact about his personal experience. And by the way, he got fired for telling the truth. After 9-11, where Muslim fanatics left 3,000 dead Americans in the street, he made a statement about his personal feeling, where I would say about 99% of all Americans share that feeling. Okay, what well, NPR that's, irre that's irrelevant. The, no, no, the no, fact, David, the fact, no, no, hold David, on, hold I'm, on. I want to I wanna get another opinion. No, point, because David. I want to go on and sp focus on whether NPR You're missing my point did, about the First Amendment. This is an incredibly chilling effect it's not a, on I don't want to talk about the First Amendment right now. I want to talk about NPR and whether it was within its legal rights to fire Juan Williams. What do you Thing. I think that NPR could have suspended Juan Williams if they felt that he said something that was wrong. Juan made a statement that was a bigoted statement. I believe he made a bigoted statement. However, however, what he said was something that millions of Americans believe, and he could have started that, used that as an opportunity for us to have an honest dialogue about the, the fact that many Muslims are lumped in with so the you think, Even though you think with Leslie that it was a bigoted statement, which I, I think is ridiculous, particularly coming from one, but even though you think that, uh, you still think that NPR was wrong in having fired him. Yes, and I commend Juan for being honest because Juan basically talked about something that a lot of people feel in this country and if had he had an opportunity to put that into context, he could have came in and started a great dialogue that could still be going on. See, on well, I think issue. you said the exact thing, Lee. Context. We don't know in the context of what this, how this was presented to America. What, NPR absolutely has the right to fire Juan Williams. He's an at-will employee to some extent, and they can find a reason to get rid of his contract if they don't agree with his political view. Uh, but I agree with you. They missed an opportunity here because what's happened in this country to all types of groups, whether it be African Americans, whether it be uh, uh, homosexuals, whether it be women, if they've, they've had to get through this critical mass of acceptance. Muslims aren't at that point yet, and so they're going to get bigoted statements said about all them right. over time. It will correct this itself. This is political correctness run amok, David. And this gets to my point about the First Amendment. If you can't go on the public airwaves and make a statement about your personal experience and how you felt about an experience that you had and you're going to get fired for it, that is an outrage in the United States in the 21st but century. But I want to get back to David, where can I the in? firing came from. Hold on a second, Leslie. Uh, Juan Williams was on with Bill O'Reilly earlier this evening. Uh, they, they did a pre-tape. Let's, let's play a little bit of that and then get the reaction because of what might be going on behind the scenes in his firing. Take, take, roll the tape on that. You didn't hear anything for 36 hours. Nothing. In fact, you know what that tells me? What? Somebody put heat on him. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Because if they had heard it and there had been so much outrage, you would have heard Tuesday morning. Oh, I would have heard that night. So, Monica, the question is, who was behind the firing? What is going on here? The, the woman that actually did the firing, by the way, is an executive VP called Ellen Weiss. The CEO is Vivian Schiller. Yeah. 
Uh, the question is whether Vivian Schiller got a call from somebody. Who knows? George right. Soros who just gave $2 million to them. Well, I think, and, and we need to see how the story plays out to be 100% sure, but what we know so far is that CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations, put out a statement early on, really twisting some arms here, saying that they were outraged by Juan's statement. We do know that CARE has been very intimidatory in the, in the, uh, in the past. The second thing is George Soros committed $1.8 million to NPR for what purpose, David? To, quote, hire new people. That means get rid of guys like Juan Williams that go off the reservation and start speaking their mind, which NPR does okay, not Leslie, want. Okay, Leslie, by the way, we should mention that Media Matters, which has been funded by the Soros Group, it's, it's kind of the, the way he thinks, uh, otherwise he wouldn't give money to them. They've called for the firing of Mara Eliason as well. Uh, another uh, commentator for, for Fox News who also works for NPR. So there seems to be a pattern here, Leslie. Well, you know, this is the thing, David. I, I have not been on this panel asked about Rick Sanchez making or alluding to anti-Semitic remarks. Everybody's flipping out, and this was because it was against Muslims. Uh, a couple of the gentlemen on the panel, I think, have, have, have rightly identified one of the problems, which is we do need to have a dialogue. But getting back to who's behind this, and I don't feel CARE is, uh, honestly, I don't think CARE has the power with, the, with NPR to do that. I believe oh, it is the on, people. Leslie. For example, if the people, Monica, if Leslie, the people, if the people, up, come on, guys, you know, it, you come, come on. on. If I got, if I got on here tomorrow and said that I hated Mr. Murdoch, which I don't, I love him. I would be <laughs> history. That, I would be history. Oh, right. Come on, Monica. Quick, 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 quick no, I believe it was the, on, the, the personal contributors. We are not yeah. going to be associated with a commentator that is on Fox News, and th that's this was a big part of it I here. They've right. been talking to Juan about this. This was about Fox people News. People inside the organization say that they didn't want to be associated with him anymore. All right, it's got to be the last word. Now, if you missed my kicking off monologue,